Hey everybody, this is Robert with the Secret Wine Society. I hope you are all soldiering on through this quarantine in high spirits. I know that I am. We will continue to bring you the coolest and most surprising wines that we can find. Uh, today is no exception. I have something really cool for you. Um, let's take a look at this one. So this is an Italian bottle. I love the red. So the producer is Rocca Fiore. And this is 2014, you gotta like that. We're rocking the early vintage here. So it's uh, Prova d'Autore, which translates as the artist's proof. Let's roll around to the back here. So this is a blend from Umbria. This has got 40% uh, Sagrantino, we got 30 Sangiovese and 30 Montepulciano. So I like all three of those grapes. Let's see how they behave together. So I'm very interested. The Sagrantino, we don't have a lot of that on our shelves. And I love it. It's usually super tannic, but let's find out. So let's give this a whirl right here. Let's start right now. Okay. Now, first of all, it's not very saturated. It's got a really nice color. It's hard to see in this light. We're doing this filming a little bit late. But a nice, light, pretty plum color. Really nice looking. I mean, judging from the looks of it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a big wine, but you know, let's give this thing a whirl and see. So, some oxygen in there. Let's stick our nose in and find out what it's gonna deliver. Now that nose is very unusual. Um, we don't have anything like this on the shelf, I can tell you that right now. I'm talking, let's do this again. But you know, what's really coming out now, that's black tea. A lot of black tea on that nose. Getting some dark plum, like it's rich, like a plum sauce. Mm. That tea is very strong. I like this a lot. It's also got a kind of a spicy component. It's maybe trending towards licorice, that type of thing. But lovely, lovely nose. Oh wow, I like this a lot. Already I like this a lot, so let's give this a whirl and find out how it So that's really good. It's balanced. The acidity is there. It's nice. It's not, I mean, the tannins are medium. The acidity is medium. The body's medium, but there's so much flavor in there. I mean, it is rich tasting, but not like thick, rich tasting. It's like just it's concentrated, but in a very interesting way. I like this. Let's do that again. Again, getting that rock in that tea. Mmm. That's really good. There's a really nice, I almost think it's like sage on the end, on the back end on the finish. Very interesting wine. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on in here. I mean, this is my kind of wine. If I were to purchase something and take home, it'd be something like this. It's interesting, it's awesome, it's different, and it's really, really good. Um, this is the type of thing that I'm looking for I got an eye out for stuff like this all the time. This will definitely be in the shop. Um, and I think you should try it. It's something that I love and I'd like to share this with you guys. So anyway, the Rocca Fiore 2014 Prova d'Autore. Come check it out. Try this wine. You won't be disappointed and take my word for it. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.